Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Fnatic Dash. And as far as desk pad sizes go, this is 950 by 500 millimeters, and I think this is probably my favorite dimensions of a desk pad type size. Not too deep, not too wide, and I think it looks great if you have a nice tabletop. And guys, I have been using the pad consistently for about a week and a half, and one of the nice things about the pad is it is easy to transition from tack shooters with flicking movements uh, to Apex with primarily tracking movements. I think that the pad does a very, very good job for both. I would say that the pad's hybrid surface is actually very durable. It, I haven't had an issue keeping this thing clean at all. It looks like the day I unrolled it out of the tube. I had no issues keeping the pad flat and the rubber base is actually very, very good and I cannot get the pad really to move with any in-game movements at all. I can certainly get it to move with quite a bit of force. Um, but nothing as far as just natural movements in game. So very, very good job on the base itself. The three millimeter thick pad is something that I really, really like because uh, you know you don't feel that raised surface off your desk when your arm is kind of you know going over the pad. So it is very comfortable as well. I do wanna show you guys some Apex clips, show you guys how I play with the pad in game. I am gonna show you some Valorant clips as well because I think, again, the pad does a very good job transitioning from both games. Guys, I can definitely say there's a break-in period with the pad. As I used it, the dynamic friction actually became a little bit faster. So the tracking in Apex was very, very fun for me, very fluid after that break-in period. And I can say the mouse pad is also very good for Valorant and tag shooters as far as those controlled movements and those quick flicks as well. Let's check it out. One of the nice things about the pad in Valorant is it does feel like a cloth pad, but with that hybrid consistency. So the nice thing is dynamic is not uh, too, too low. It is actually somewhat fast and manageable and the micro movements are actually quite good, but not slippery or slick. So I didn't feel in Valorant that I was over aiming and I felt pretty consistent with both my flicks as well as my controlled aim. It looks solid, dude. The pad is three millimeters thick. It is a very dense foam, so your mouse isn't going to feel inconsistent if you apply some pressure down into the pad. The logo is metallic. It is off to the bottom right. I don't think you're going to ever run into an issue of bringing your mouse that far down on your pad, so I don't think it's going to affect your aim ever in-game. 
and the stitched edging is almost flush to the pad, very, very close to being flush, and the stitched edging is very well done, very compact, and it actually feels quite good on your arm and on your skin, so it's not itchy, it's not going to affect you in-game at all. And guys, one of the pads that I have been enjoying in tack shooters primarily is the Vax EPA, also very similar to the Zowie GSRSE. And I personally do enjoy the hybrid pad, the Fanatic Dash, quite a bit more. And the reason why is because that dynamic friction actually feels rather similar on the pad. So you have that dynamic control on both pads. But where the pad improves is definitely the static friction, where the static friction on the dash actually feels still quite controlled. It just is a lot more maneuverable with those inner circle movements with not too much pressure or force that you have to apply. Whereas the Vax EPA, it is still pretty nice as far as a cloth pad is concerned with those inner circle movements. Uh, but definitely you feel quite a bit more force or pressure that is required. So the static friction is lower on the Fanatic Dash and the dynamic is about the same. A little bit faster on the Dash. And given that it is a hybrid surface, it is going to be very durable, just like a Artisan Hien. And I can say that the static friction is very similar to the Artisan Hien, and the dynamic friction is probably a tad bit slower uh, than the Hien. So it does have a bit more dynamic friction and a bit more control uh, than the Hien on those dynamic movements. Uh, but again, static friction, very similar to a Hien if you are familiar with the feel of the Artisan Hien. And then as far as the comparison between the hybrid F15 Surface and a Cordura pad, the static friction is a bit more controlled on the Fanatic Dash. It is a little bit less on the Trigun, also feels very good on the Trigun as well. Um, not too much more on the Dash than the Trigun, I would say. And then as far as dynamic friction, it is quite a bit more controlled than the Trigun. Um, so if you are used to the Fanatic Dash and you're looking for something a little bit faster on dynamic movements, um, and a something a little bit easier, the Trigun could be a good option. If you need more control, the Fnatic Dash is a awesome option. So overall guys, I am very happy with the Fnatic Dash. I think it is a solid pad. If you are somebody who is coming from something like a SteelSeries QCK, you're somebody coming from the HyperX Fury pads, this is something that would feel very similar in feel to those pads. As far as the texture itself, it is a very nice hybrid texture and something that is very fun and very good for both tack shooters and games that require quite a lot of tracking. The pad plays very well in game. It is very consistent and I don't think that there is any issue with humidity and or temperature is concerned. If you are somebody who is looking for that bit of extra control on dynamic movements, but you want freedom with small wrist movements, the pad could potentially be your main pad. I think it's very, very good in game. And again, something that is going to last you quite a while. If that helped guys, please leave a subscription to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.